Hey guys, um, I've had a few people ask me about my MIDI setup on this board and I just wanted to go give you a quick rundown of exactly how it works. So you'll notice I have three MIDI devices on here. I have two different H9s and a DPC-4EZ. Um, this H9 is my main MIDI controller. Um, these two are both slaves, however this is also set up to transmit and I'll get into that in a little bit. So the first step here is program changes come out of this H9. And so as you step through settings, it activates settings on the DPC and on the other H9. And you can watch them kind of flow together as we go here, if I get the right one set up. So that's that. Um, additionally, um, this H9 is actually sending tempo to this other H9. So if you tap in a new tempo here, you can see it sync over here. Um, so that's handy because one H9 can't do both of those things without an external switch. And since I have two on my board, I was able to get that functionality out of the second H9 without having to have another switch on the board. Um, because normally you would have to press and hold this switch and then it would transmit tempo to the other one. Um, but that allows me to, to change patches with songs um, but then also change tempo if we get off the click track or if we're playing a song that doesn't have a click and we change in the middle for some reason. Additionally, we have the DPC-4EZ. All of my drives are in here, although you can see this one's not wired up yet for the Spark, um, waiting on some cables. Um, but So what I usually do is I'll set up the DPC to change with the main H9 when we start a new song and occasionally if I have to change um, my delay type in the middle of the song, um, I'll have this change as well then. Um, and then within the time that I'm playing the song, uh, I will turn on and off specific pedals as needed, and then the next time I go to a new song change, I'll get the, the opening intro patch for the DPC at the same time I get the H9. Um, so the routing is actually out of this H9 into the DPC, out of the DPC into this H9, and then out of this H9 back into this other H9 in a loop. Um, I've never seen anybody else do an, a MIDI loop like that on their board. Um, it popped in my head one day and I went, hey, I bet that'll work, and it did. Um, I don't know why other people don't do it. Lots of guys have two H9s on their board, and I think most of them are using a third-party controller to do it, and that's perfectly fine. I just didn't have space for another controller. Um, and because the, the DPC doesn't have as many presets, um, I can actually get 100 out of the, the H9 because it can store up to 100, I believe. Maybe it's 127. Yeah, I always have my DPC set up in manual mode, not in preset mode, so that when I change patches, patch configurations in the middle of a song, um, my next song, pulling up automatically changes the DPC. Um, so it always reverts back to what my preset was for the beginning of a song, but I can change it in the middle of a song on the fly as I want, and that allows me to do all my uh, changes with this, um, with this switch. One final thing is I was a little worried about the DPC when I first got it because it didn't have a computer editor. I do all of my H9 setups on my computer before the sets and then just pull up the, the set list during, the, during performances. And the DPC doesn't have a way to do that, but it turns out it's really easy to set up a new um, a new scene on the DPC. So if you want a specific set of pedals in for your next song, um, you would set up what you want it to sound like, press and hold this button until that's flashing, and then you send it a program change. So you would have your other MIDI controller, one back or one forward of where you want to go, and then when it gets the program change, you see the lights sync up, and um, now whenever you recall that preset, um, it will change to that specific setting. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.